Hi you guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to Coffee, Paper, Scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna try some more of the collaging, the Marguerite Miller's uh, weekly planner, collage planner. I did week three by myself. I'm trying to do two a week and I'll show you one and and then I'll do one with you. So this is week three and it needed a barcode. So I drew a barcode and then it needed a photo or portion of a photo. So this is a picture that I took a couple of years ago. The rose had, you know, that frost on it that was coming out all pokey and I thought that was really cool. So that's the picture I used or photo and a thing. So I use these washers. They're those grippy washers. I don't know what they're called, but they have like ridges on them. And I, I sewed them down and um, I put some uh, black circles behind it just to kind of set them off a little bit. And then a clothing tag, text in a different alphabet. So this is Japanese writing, and then bonus was handwriting. So I did that Bible verse, and this is that Bible verse in Japanese. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I did this yesterday, which is Sunday, so I thought that was appropriate. And sometimes I just don't rejoice as I should, so that's why I did that. Okay, so there's... Number three, I added a little bit of stenciling on it and I did the background with some of my new stamps um, and then sprayed it and then, you know, pushed the paper down on it. I've never done that before and I think that it turned out okay, but I don't necessarily like it with everything else, but this is what I ended up with. So here we go. All right. So number four. For number four, we are supposed to use some numbers, some graph or lined paper, an art scrap. I have this scrap of um, a crazy quilt that I thought was really cute, um, a book page or portion. And so since I'm using, or since I'm doing an altered book journal right now, I have lots of book page and an old sticky note. So I have some sticky notes that um, I poured some coffee on and dried. I, I don't like the sticky note thing. I'm, I'm kind of at a loss with that one because all I wanna do is cover it up and then I feel like what was the point of the sticky note? So I don't know. And then bonus is instructions. So I have a friend of mine, Donna, um, her husband, Technically, I don't know what his title was, but an engineer or something like that. He would draw up plans for buildings and stuff like that. And he's retired mostly, and they were getting rid of a bunch of his old plans. And I feel like those are instructions, right? So I use them um, a lot of times to put down on my desk when I'm doing something messy so I don't get it all over my desk and so this is a piece that I've used in the past and I felt like I would use those for the instructions all right and I'm very nervous about all of this because I just I don't know I'm very nervous about it so here's the paper I'm going to put it down on this last one that I made I forgot to leave a place to hole punch it because I'm keeping these in a three ring binder and I'm trying to remember to leave a spot for hole punching. So I think I'll hole punch on this side um, to put it in my binder. So that's what the, the line is for. I'm supposed to be aware that that's a white space. And I am going to just do actual collage. Um, I This is something I'm, I really don't ever do. And so... I'm going to try and then I'll, I'm going to do like some tearing like this and some straight line tearing just so that hopefully I can cover things, I don't know, logically, I don't know if that's the right word, but I don't want my tears to be all rounded and like hard to put together just because I feel like that'll take more time than necessary for me. 
since it's not something I do very often, it, it doesn't come naturally at all. And I'm not going to glue down right away because I don't know in what order I want everything. So I'm going to tear... showing. Um, so one of the problems I feel like I have doing this is that I see this white paper and I want to cover it and and so then I cover it and there ends up being no real focal point because everything is so busy and stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to try and have some differences. I'm gonna try. And then if I end up not liking it, you know, like I'll go back in and maybe stamp here and there, I think. Okay, um, let's see. You know, I don't know, is it cheating if I do graph and lined paper? It says graph or lined paper. I don't know. You know what? I might use my post-it note right up here and just be done with it. I'm just going to use it as part of my background collage. I, I can't come up with anything clever for it. I thought about it for way longer than I should have. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like collage is something that should um, like free your mind a little bit and allow you to be just creative. And I'm not kidding you guys. I will sit and stare at this doggone thing for two hours. That's not freeing my mind. Okay, let's see. We'll do some of this. good. It fits. The sun just came out. I'm going to close my shade so that you're not getting such a line there. So the wind didn't get too bad last night. I mean, it blew some things over, but I don't know. I, I don't watch the news, so it could be devastating in Spokane. Um, a lot of times trees fall in Spokane, especially in some of those older neighborhoods. They've got some crazy trees up in those older neighborhoods, but I'm unaware of any power outages out where I live. Okay. Maybe another piece of this. Where'd I put it? Okay, I'm going to... I want it to be a straight line on this side, so I'm going to cut that down. I like the three, so I'm going to leave the three. This is that time of year when the the sun is behind a cloud, not behind a cloud, behind a cloud, not behind a cloud. So it kind of like gets dim and then it gets way brighter than you can handle. Which is fine when I'm not trying to make a video. Okay, and 
Let's see. I guess we'll do more of this. Why not, right? It's very blocky, but I don't care. Most of that's going to be covered with my art scrap anyway. So that's okay. This line here is very straight. And I thought I was going to do more straight ones, but I don't like that. So I'm going to tear that. Here, I think I'm going to cover that so. this one down first. I'm not too worried about the center of it since it's not, you know, going to be journaled or anything like that. I'm not real worried. I'm just going to be putting it in a notebook. I'll go ahead and do this one next. One time, so the the week three one with the barcode on it made me think of something my daughter did a couple of years ago now, probably because you know they haven't been actually at school for a year, and I think she, I don't know, maybe she did it at the beginning of last year before school closed. Um, she took and did one of these kinds of code, um, scan code things. She took one of those and drew it on her backpack or painted it on her backpack. And if you um, scan it, it takes you to a music video. <laughs> it's um, a Rick Astley, Rick Astley? music video from the 80s. I loved Rick Astley. Astley, I think is how you say his name. Um, it's that Never Gonna Give You Up song. I mean, just hilarious, I think. Uh, that's gonna be covered. I'm looking at it, that like it's a problem. Okay, I think I want this one down first. And for my hand is where I'm going to line it up. So yeah, so she painted it on her backpack. And so when she was wearing her backpack at school, somebody could scan that barcode and that video would pop up on their phone. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I always tell um, my kids that they, they are just, I don't know, they're, they're smarter than I ever was, I think. Uh, I don't know. I mean, of course, common sense 
can only go so far at that age. But as far as the things that they can do and think to do, I never, never, never would have thought to do something like that. She was just filling out an application online and I helped her come up with a resume the other day and you know she doesn't have anything to put on there she's a high school student who hasn't worked yet but she wants to try and get a job so that's good so we were you know trying to come up with things to put in there and I say you know we'll say something like this and so she'll type something out that sounds brilliant. And mine, my words sound not so brilliant. Um, there's a big goop of glue on this. Hold on. And then you could upload a cover letter also. And so I was trying to help her write a cover letter to attach... And same thing, you know, I'd say something like this and she would type something out that better than what I said. Getting a job now is so much different than it used to be. I've said this before. I know I have because I've been talking about my son trying to get a job. But, um... You know, it's all online, and then you never hear a word from them. So, hopefully they'll call her, but we'll see. Okay, so I have, okay, graph paper. I'm going to mark them off. The instructions, a sticky note, book page, graph paper. So, the art scrap and the numbers. I just want it sort of like on there, you know? So obviously most of what I did in the center is covered, but that's fine, I don't care. And then I thought I would take some of these numbers. Figure out a placement for them. Maybe this nine. Or cutting job. I don't know. I think I might do some stenciled numbers somewhere as well. I like this big five cent one. I don't want to destroy all the other ones for future projects. Trying to get to that, though. Let's see. I'm very slow cut um at cutting. I know some some of you guys watch Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dosh. She just is so good at cutting. She's really fast and fairly straight. And then when she does make a mistake, she's you know, she's able to fix it really easily. Which is good. Let's see. I like these stars. Is there another big one? Another big one. I want to put another big one coming like off the page a little bit, I think.
I'm pretty sure, oh, I know I do. I have some big stencils, number stencils, and I'm wondering where they might be. I did know. Hmm, I don't know now. I'm hoping I'll be able to find them. Numbers, graph, paper, art, scrap. Okay. Let me see here. Actually, I think what I did was I cut it so they would fit in a drawer. Yeah, I have these. Okay. I think that's what I want to do and I'm going to use this Did you guys watch, what is her name? Let's see here. Okay, it's White Cottage something. White Cottage Company. Um, Ardith, one of my subbies and my friend, um, pointed her out to me. I had never heard of her or, or watched her channel. She's very cool. Um, she does like an episode a week, I think. But she made a piece of furniture from scratch and she did some stenciling of numbers on it. I was just thinking of that as I was doing the stenciling. So it's called White Cottage Company. Maybe I'll put that video in. She doesn't need my help <laughs> as far as, you know, people watching. She's amazing. But, you know, if you guys don't want to search around for it. Now, I want most of that showing. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know if I like that. I like the number. I probably shouldn't have done it as crisp. Too many numbers and then I'm thinking as I say that I'm going to do a few more I think I'm just going to go down maybe I'll, I'll go a little lighter up, um, on this like they're faded like it's more it's faded on one side, but not the other or something. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Like that. And it'd be great if I could line them up. But we'll see. get it kind of the same. See, this is what takes me so long. It's ridiculous. Okay. Well, that's too... 
to something. There. I'm going to glue this down. So I'm just going to take, well, I it's backed. It's like um, lined. And so I, I don't think there'll be a problem with the glue seeping through. But at the same time, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? So yep, yeah, this is my interpretation of art scrap. I was looking through, I was like, am I going to have to try and make a piece of art and then tear it in half? I mean, most of any art I try to make is definitely worth tearing in half. <laughs> but um, it would be my look. I would create like a masterpiece and then I'd have to tear it in half. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> And so then I was looking in, I don't have very many magazines just because I don't get um, subscriptions. And um, so I was looking through trying to find something that was, you know, like from a magazine. And I, I don't know. And then I thought, wait, quilting is an art for sure. And definitely when it's like a crazy quilt. So that works for me. Probably should have inked around that. I just don't know. Right up in the corner. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to put where? Let's see. I have all of these um, brads that I got. I think maybe I'll stick a brad on something. real point in it, but why not? It has part of the little pokies poking out the end, and I kind of like that. lay pretty flat so that it'll stick to the paper well. Okie dokie. Probably needs something right here too. Let's 
too many um, squares. Are you guys done? <laughs> You're like, be done already. Good enough. We will stop with this 30. I will ink around it this time. Okay. There's a little ball, glue ball on the top. you guys so there we go I mean it's it's fine right sure <laughs> there we go so I have weeks three and four done thanks you guys for watching I would say I hope you enjoyed it but I don't know oh this is extra I don't think that goes there Does it? Does it go there? Sorry. Let's see, I need black. And I just got too much. I've not tried to do edges with the black thingy before. I mean with the, um, this kind of thing. All right, I'm, I'm going to be done now. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.